in the closet. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, not my best. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Dutchie. And I couldn't do that too aggressively today because I have no pants on. The life of a YouTuber. <laughs> in today's video, I thought I would bring you guys some more LGBT fashion tips. Woohoo! Because the Dutchie fam absolutely frothed my two videos on this particular topic. So I thought, why not make a third? I'm basically going to be putting together a whole bunch of different outfits, ranging from tomboy or stem, to femme or lipstick, and everywhere in between. And fam, I'm gonna have you looking like an LGBT snack. No, a full course LGBT meal by the end of this video. Trust. And just before we get into the video, as always, just a quick disclaimer, I am fully aware that clothes do not have a gender or sexual orientation. However, at the same time, clothes and particular outfits can be utilised by some individuals as a means to hint at your sexuality or gender identity. All thanks to stereotypes! So if you want to know how to look gay as fuck, then be sure to keep on watching. And also be sure to follow my Insta, because I post a lot of gay outfit inspo ideas on there too. And without further ado, let's head on into the video. I'd like to start this LGBT fashion tips vid with some staples that any good gay should have in their wardrobe. However, do take these staples with a grain of salt. You can wear and own whatever the heck you want, regardless of your sexuality or gender identity. However, for the sake of stereotypes, let's get it. Now, according to societal expectations, every good gay must own. And by the way, these are non-negotiables. One, at least one flannel. Period. At least one pair of black ripped jeans. A good pair of sneaks, either Connie's or Vans. A good pair of boots, usually Docs. You must own at least one beanie, cap or snap. But an elite LGBT baddie will most likely have one or more of each. Not looking at anyone. And the sixth staple that every good gay should own is at least one cool dad shirt. Okay, now that we have the gay staple wardrobe items covered, let's take it to the wardrobe, shall we? Ah, yes. <laughs> Morning! Yes, and here we are, back in the closet. <laughs> ah, yeah, not my best. But, okay, here we are in my messy app wardrobe once more. And I feel the need to say that every time because it is legitimately always like this. Always messy. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I'm not going to clean it all up for a video and act like this is always clean because it just isn't. So basically the plan is to style two different outfits from every stereotypical category that I'm going to go through and I would like to start with my personal fave, the tomboy or stem, also known as the perfect blend between stud and femme. <laughs> okay, so for the first tomboy stem kit I'm going to style this oversized offense tee with some grey tartan type dress pants. These are super duper comfy, I love them so much. Um, I think I'll wear these with my Air Force Ones just because the white blends in super nicely with the grey tones. And I mean, I couldn't leave the house without a cap or beanie on, so I'll pair this with one of those as well. And chuck some rings into the mix too. Alright, now for tomboy look number two, I'm going to grab a black singlet crop top. Okay, I've had to opt for grey because I can't find my black singlet anywhere. I'm honestly the worst. Um, my absolute fave cord pants. These are thrifted too, by the way. Also, I'll put on the screen where all these clothes are from if you guys wanted to get your hands on some of them as well. But unfortunately, a lot of them probably are thrifted because I'm a thrift queen. Bring the black crop and the fave cord pants with a pair of Air Force Ones again and another cheeky bean because we know that's what stems and tomboys love to wear. <laughs> Okay, so that was STEM. Now moving on to the next category of STUD. Okay, so for stud look number one, I'm going, I'm just going to grab some big b-ball shorts. How sick are these? With an oversized tee. Again, chuck on some white crew socks with some Air Force Ones. And yeah, girl, now she a stud. <laughs> Uh, 
card look number two. I'm just going to grab a thrifted Ralph shirt. You could honestly wear this buttoned up or open with a tee underneath, but for this particular look, because it's like a little bit oversized, I'm going to wear it done up over some ripped jeans um, with possibly a chain. I'm not sure. Um, and either some cons or Air Force Ones. This is a look, people. <laughs> Okay, now moving on to the stereotype of lipstick lesbian, pretty much just feminine outfits. Alrighty, for fem look number one, you lipstick lesbians, I've just got these baggy jeans and a little top. I've noticed a lot of lesbians on TikTok wearing this outfit and absolutely slaying. Hello, honey. I guess this little top could be anything. It doesn't have to be like one of these cardies. I just love this cardi and wanted to showcase it once more. Um, so yeah, just like these jeans, this top, and honestly, you can wear sandals, you could wear sneakers, you could wear any sort of shoe with this, so we'll see what I went with. Um, yeah, super cute. And then for fem look number two, I've opted for this matching linen look. I've had this in my closet for a while now, but haven't really worn it. Um, but whenever I chuck it on, it is super duper femme. It makes me feel super femme. Um, and yeah, it's just a cute af kit that I think falls into the category of lipstick. And now I'm going to head on into two chapstick outfits. So I came to realize that the definition of chapstick can vary quite a bit. However, this is what I've got in my phone here. A chapstick lesbian is someone who exhibits some butch traits, such as short hair, men's clothing, etc., without wholly fitting the masculine butch stereotype, somewhere between masculine and feminine, often dressing in comfortable or sensible clothing. So yeah, I'm just going to work with that definition and style to outfits. Oh, so for chapstick look number one, I'm going to go with some basic Levi's. This color is my absolute go-to. I love it so much. Just with a plain white tee and a flannel. I think this look is kind of casual. Like, it doesn't have to look like anything. Um, yeah, and they can also be paired with sneaks, docks, like anything you want, really. <laughs> And then I think for number two, matching the part in the definition where it says they often dress in comfortable or sensible clothing, I'm just going to pick out my fave grey trackies and a hoodie with cons. I think this look is super casual yet chic. And now moving on to my last section of gender neutral outfits. Now, as mentioned throughout this video, clothes do not have a gender or sexual orientation. However, as a society, we still have a men's section and a women's section in most clothing stores and online stores. To be honest, I shop in both sections, if not 80% the men's section and maybe 20% the women's. Purely because I feel more comfortable in guys' clothes, the material is often better, and it's sometimes cheaper. Society and history has also shaped us to believe that some items of clothing or outfits can make an individual look more masculine or more feminine, which I could only imagine could be tough for some non-binary individuals who feel that they neither fall into the category of masculine or feminine. So I'm going to try my best to create two gender neutral outfits based on societal norms. Obviously any outfit could be gender neutral as clothes do not have a gender or sexual identity or anything like that, but going with society standards, I'm going to try and make two completely gender neutral outfits. Woo! Let's get it. Okay, so I thought for gender neutral outfit number one, I thought I would honestly just opt for a suit. This doesn't look mask or femme. This literally, this outfit could literally not be any more in the middle. Like when I look at people in a suit, I don't think mask or femme, I just think suit hot. <laughs> and for gender neutral outfit two, honestly overalls. Again, these are something that I've seen so many different people in and again when I see them I don't think either mask or femme. I just see overalls and cute outfits. <laughs> to create a 
a third and final gender neutral outfit because why the heck not? I just pictured some jeans and a plain hoodie or crew neck. I don't think there's anything more gender neutral than that. Again, anyone could wear it and not look any particular way according to society's standards or according to the way society has shaped us to believe. So I just thought that was another super easy gender neutral outfit as well. <laughs> That brings us to the end of my LGBT fashion tips video for 2020. If you did like it, then please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Share this video with anyone who you think will enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!